there's a lot of attention given to the new manual testing capabilities in Visual Studio 2010 and Microsoft Test Manager for good reason. It's really well done. Um, but what we'll look at in this video is a way that we can leverage any manual testing that we might have done. Included with the results of any manual test is an action log. This is literally a step-by-step -step account of everything that we did, every key that we pressed, every mouse motion that we made. We can take this uh, script or this log and create an automated test from it. We'll switch over to Visual Studio 2010 and we'll add ourselves a new coded UI test to our test project. Now when we add a coded UI test to our project, we have two choices. We can create a brand new one from scratch and we can record um, actions to create one or we can use an existing action recording. Since we have an existing action recording, let's use that one. All we need to do is pick our existing test case. And that's just a matter of running a query against Team Foundation Server. We'll pick our test case and the code gets generated automatically for us. Coded UI tests are managed and run just like any other type of test. So we'll go over to our test view window, refresh, and pick up our new test. Doesn't matter if it's a web test, unit test, or a coded UI test, we can run it from this test view. When we run our test, it's going to automatically launch our application under test and automatically drive it. So go to the page that we did and enter in the information that was recorded in our action log. So the, the coded UI test is a great way to leverage our manual testing. We we'll use manual testing to find a scenario that we want to verify. Then to be able to repeat that, and maybe repeat that with every build, we can create a coded UI test.